I'm reviewing something that matches my hair. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is about the Endura T8 by Inakin. So I have the new Endura T18, sorry I said that wrong, complete vaping system. Here's a little preview of what it looks like. I have the pink one here. It comes in four colors, Tiffany blue being the other one that I would have definitely loved to have. Now I thought this was like Inakin's version of maybe like a um, an Ego One, which is Joytech's little tube style sub ohm battery but this actually is not sub ohm it comes with a 1.5 coil and it only goes to 14 watts so this is like an upgraded version for beginners this is a total beginner setup i would recommend for beginners or you know somebody like me who likes to collect vapes if you need every vape out there in your favorite color pink uh so here it is we open it here and it has a full breakdown for Epsi, perfect for beginners. Here is the battery, here is the atomizer, the tank, and then on the inside right here, you have the list of what the kit includes. It has a USB charger, and we'll show you, I'll show you where that charges. It has an extra coil, which we have to take a closer look at this. It has some extra O-rings, and as well as this plastic stand to help it stand up and the user's manual, of course, and then the traditional Inakin stickers. So here is the battery, here is the fire button, it has the traditional light indicator for the battery, green, red, and yellow. It is just a thousand milliamp hour battery, 510 connection right here. The charge port is here, so here's the Inakin logo, as you can see, and it just slides open like that. And there is the charger. So this would probably be like an upgraded um, click battery. Because I was trying to relate to what this is like. Because it's totally a beginner setup. And there it says Endura T18. I'm not sure what the T18 stands for. Since this is a 14 watt device. Here is the tank. It is a top fill tank. It does not have adjustable airflow. It is also 510 threaded. It is stainless steel and Pyrex glass with that huge coil in it. This drip tip is some sort of plastic. I'm not exactly sure, but it's not stainless steel. It's not glass. And this also has the prism flavor thing that the iSub Apex has. And you can fill it from the top, which is a-okay in my book. So you screw off the base and pull out the coil. Now look at this freaking co coil. It is huge. And this is one 0.5 ohms so this is not sub ohm at all and then when you put it back you have to make sure it lines up to click into place to screw the base back on so I'll go ahead and put these two together and it does recommend letting the coil wick up for five minutes so I'm gonna do that just because that's what the kit that's what it recommends so we're gonna have do that I'm sure you can cut down the time by doing priming puffs and things like that but I'm just going to be safe for this first look review and I am filling it with some looper by animal I got some more of that in it's a really delicious cereal vape all right so I have it filled up to the brim I'm gonna go ahead and let it wick up and come back and vape it for you guys so while I'm letting this wick up I noticed that since it has such a large coil that the level of the juice went down about two of the juice flow holes down so I did put another syringe full of e-liquid in here and I was going through and reading the user's manual to better get to know this device it has a ton of safety features which you guys know is always a plus in my book it has a 15 second cutoff low voltage warning short circuit atomizer protection it has over discharge protection over charge protection over heat protection and vape while charging technology which means it is a pass-through device and you can vape it while it's connected to a charger charging now what confused me is right here in the user's manual it says short circuit slash atomizer protection the endura t18 personal vaporizer features automatic real-time atomizer ohm detection if the resistance of the atomizer is lower than 1.2 ohm the LED will stay on for five seconds and the Endura T18 personal vaporizer will not power. Then on the very next page under technical specifications, it says clearomizer resistance range 0.2 to 2.5 ohms. What? 
So can this or can this not sub ohm? I am going to assume it cannot sub ohm because it only goes to 14 watts. That's not enough to power a sub ohm, but it literally says right here, clear miser resistance, 0 0.2 ohm. I am confused and uh, if any of you out there know, I would love to, to have an explanation because I was just, you know, letting it wick up, going through the user's manual, seeing if there was any, you know, I wanted to know what the protection features were. I always, always love that when things come with protection features. I was looking for a capacity for the tank, which I didn't find in here, but it's not a very large tank. I'd say it's probably about the same as a Kanger Sub Tank Nano. I could be wrong, again, if you know that, you can just comment below and give that information out because I wasn't able to find it myself before this video. So that really puzzles me why the user's manual says that. Like literally, I want to show you guys right here, do you see it? It says, <laughs> I can't read it backwards, but it says it right there about the lower than 1.2, that it will not power. But on the very next page under technical specifications, under clear miser resistance, it says 0.2 to 2.5. So help me out, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how it vapes. I have been taking many priming puffs off this because it's just such a huge freaking coil and it has a very tight draw. I like a looser, airier draw, which is fine. We're just testing this out. But I think that the tighter draw is definitely geared towards smokers making the switch, beginners. Like I said that this was probably designed for beginners. Obviously, it's not designed for intermediates who want to sub ohm because it's not a, it's 14 watts. It's a thousand milliamp hour battery. It's a little on the go. It matches my hair like, can you even see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I love it though. I love the color. Let's vape it. Turn it on first. Three clicks on. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. It has a really tight draw. I don't actually like that. Like, it's, it's too tight. It needs a little bit of airflow, I guess, for me. But the flavor is incredible. Yum. Ooh, I did not think the flavor was gonna be that good off of this, but it's like a totally new style coil anyway, so I don't know why I was so like preemptive in my thinking that it was gonna not be very delicious, but it is. Whoa. Holy crap. Mmm, that flavor is good. I just don't like the airflow. Don't like the draw on it. It's very tight lipped. But other than that, I mean, this would be geared towards somebody who probably does mouth to lung anyway. The flavor is fucking phenomenal, though. I don't know. I don't remember how to mouth to lung it. Wow. The flavor is so good out of this. Like, for who cares that the draw is too tight? Actually, I, I do kind of care, but this is geared towards beginners. So smokers would probably prefer this versus a, you know, a freaking sub ohm device. So, wow, the flavor is awesome though. If they had this when I first started smoking, it wouldn't have taken me so long. I totally have to vape it a different way. Gets a good vape on it too though. Mm. Vapor production, good. Flavor, great. Hit smooth, nice and smooth. Draw, too tight. Battery, too small, but like only in my personal preference. But this is great for a beginner. I. 100% would recommend this to a beginner that doesn't want to go with like the Sigalikes because I would firstly recommend Sigalikes like Halo, V2, Mig Sig, those little batteries to smokers because those are so much like cigarettes, they're tiny. This would be like the step up instead of going to like an Ego with a, a C5 clear miser, you know, this is the next step up. That's It's not sub-ohm because I wouldn't recommend sub-ohm to a beginner really anyway. I'm impressed. 
I'm impressed. I mean, I don't know how much I would want to use it just because this isn't my personal vaping style anymore. Man, it's a really tight draw. I mean, it's cute and it's great for a beginner. I don't see myself picking this up to use it after this video. Like, I could do a one month update. If you guys want to see a one month update, I can for sure do that. It's going to be harder though for me to go for this device just because of the way the draw is and the power behind it is, you know, it's beginner, which is fine. I will do that for the sake of you guys if you want to see a one month update for this, but I would definitely rather give this to somebody that wants to quit smoking, you know, somebody I know that wants to quit smoking because this would probably be an excellent setup for that. Dang, the flavor though. What they do to these coils? They're so crazy looking, but it works. It tastes great. No no dry hit, no yucky burny hit yet cuz it kind of almost looks like those old fashioned um iClear 30S coils where the wicks were inside so I'm all like what what are you doing but it's it's so delicious way better than, than those old coils huh. yeah wow thumbs up for it's very beginner but thumbs up for it especially that it comes in pink and Tiffany blue and then uh, black and white silver I'm not, I'm not sure what the other colors were because I just saw it in pink and Tiffany blue and I was like oh my god I gotta get the pink one but um that's it for today's video if you have the Endura T18 let me know down in the comments below what your experience is let me know what you think because like like I said no airflow it's not adjustable wattage uh, no adjustable airflow really tight draw not sub ohm crazy like for them to be coming out with a, a device like this at a time like this in the vaping industry but it is so for beginners and it's excellent too for that. I will put a link below where you can go and check this out for yourself or check it out for somebody you may know who needs to get off smoking. This would be a perfect setup. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload videos that are not vaping related so if you want to see more of me you can check that out all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys it should be noted that even though this isn't sub ohm and there's no adjustable airflow and it's a tight draw and the coils are weird it chucks I mean it's chucking the vapor it's just like I feel like I'm getting like a nick buzz off of it because the draw is so tight.